After weeks of waiting, the tier aftermarket part has finally been fixed, and now you can convert this revolver into a sniper. Let's see how it does in zombies. The tier has been one of the best weapons in zombies so far this year, and I wonder if this aftermarket part is either going to make it better or worse. Because the whole appeal of the tiers is the akimbo snake shot combo, and you can still add snake shot rounds to this rifle kit, but when I tried it out in the fire range, it did less damage to those dummies. But I'm going to play one game here without snake shot, and then another one after after to see if pack-a-punching still affects the snake shots or not. But so far... Oh, wait. Did that really not one-shot it? Does it have to be a headshot? Oh, it collapsed? I mean, it should if it's a sniper. But a body shot don't kill? Really? It only does half damage? That's disappointing. I'm hoping that this thing just does massive critical hit damage. Let's see if we can take out a tier 2 zombie with one crit. Ah... Uh... Not really. Got him to half health. This one didn't even flinch at it. It's not looking good so far for this. Let's go ahead and uh, pack a punch it up to one and throw an epic aether tool on it and see if that changes anything. Maybe some perks can help too. Let's see how much dead shot helps. This is a tier three armored zombie. Broke the armor off his head. Oh, okay. So this pair with dead shot... It's a one-hit critical kill, unless they got a helmet on. But well, this is only pack one, and it just took down a tier three zombie in two shots. You just got to be extremely accurate with it. Now, let's get this up to pack a punch three. There we go. And before we take this against a Mega Abomination or the Stormcaller, let's do, take a little trial run against the HVT. All right, Mimic. How's this doing against you? Oh, it's a three shot. That's not bad at all. Let's take out this Aether Nest real quick and see if we can't get an ammo mod to help us out. And it's looking like now that it's pack three, in tier two, it'll one shot zombies to the body, even if they have armor. So this thing definitely scales well with pack a punch, at least so far. Oh, and we got napalm burst. Perfect. Just what I'm looking for. Just imagine what it would be like if you'd use this AMP akimbo. I think this thing is ready to try to take on a mega abomination. Now we just need to find one. Actually, what's this doing against tier three zombies now? Okay, that was Shatter Blast. That would have been all Shatter Blast doing that. Looks like it's a two-shot kill. That's not terrible. But also not the greatest for only having five bullets while pack-a-punch. Seems like the hipfire accuracy is way better, though, after you pack-a-punch. I'll give it that. And I'm not seeing any abominations. Let's just do a, a tier three bounty. See if we can get one to spawn. Oh, it's a mangler. You know what? I'll take it. It'll be our appetizer. Where you at, pal? There he is. Ooh, immediately stopped his laser. Broke his helmet off. I want to get one clean crit on him. I want to see how much damage it can do. Oh, he's already at half health. Probably take like two more shots. One, two, gone. That was fast. No, no, we're lagging. Where does it get a legendary aether tool? This game really doesn't want me to have nice things. Oh, is it might be the whole server. They're putting Fs in, in sad faces in chat. Look, there is a mega abomination right here. No, I better not lose my stuff for that server going down. Oh, uh, I still had everything I spawned in with besides my golden armor plates. I have to wait 48 hours to use those again. I guess let's hop back in and see if our tombstone's still there. No, you gotta be kidding me. They kicked me out and took my tombstone. All right, well, I gotta do some great grinding to get it back. This is the worst possible outcome. All right, I'm finally all set back up. Let's see if we can find a mega abomination to take on. Here's one in the perfect spot too. How much damage are we doing right off the bat? Oh, blew up his head in like one shot. My other shots were just shooting around it. Oh, and he's shooting his laser. I don't got any armor to tank this, but we're gonna have to try. Oh, we blew it up. Holy shit. That's already two heads gone in seconds. Oh, he's fucking chasing me. Knock it off. Stay still. I can hear him stomping right behind me. <sighs> okay. Open up. Here we go. Decoy's going out. This should be it for him right here. Oh, no. If we didn't have to reload. That was the perfect opportunity. Oh, we still took him out. Let's go. This thing's actually a monster against the Mega Abomination. The crit damage on this gun is insane. It might be one of like the highest crit damage weapons in the game. I had to guess. That's based off of no information besides this gameplay. And since there's no bounties currently in tier three, let's go try to take on the Stormcaller. See what it can do against him. Where's the Stormcaller? There he is. Let's get that armor broken on his face. Let's throw a decoy, get the zombies away from me. Oh my, he's already at half health. This thing's nasty, dude. Another decoy, stay away. And he's dead. Holy shit, this thing is the boss slayer. Like nothing can stop this. If an enemy has a crit point on it, it is absolutely decimating it. 
within seconds. This thing's a beast. I don't think it's as practical as like the Akimbo uh, tiers, but it might be better at taking out bosses. All right, let's get out of here and come back in with the snake shot rounds and see if there's any difference. I'm taking off the optic and replacing it with the snake shot rounds. Okay, so as you can see, we still have the aftermarket part on. It actually looks really cool without the scope. You don't really get to see a whole lot of the weapon without it. And we have our snake shot crosshair here. So against a zombie, it can still kill. It doesn't kill to the body, but it does kill to the head, just like it did without snake shot. What about against the tier two zombie? A uh, three, maybe four shot crit. Two of those shots hit his shoulder. They still have that range. I can't hit anything at range now. What about after we pack a punch and upgrade the rarity? Dead, dead, dead. Two shot dead. And since we're right here, we might as well try it against the Stormcaller again. Where you at, pal? There he is. So let's break his mask. I think the mask is... Close to being broken. All these zombies are getting in my face. I don't have my speed cola. I do have my dead shot. Let's throw that on. Speed cola makes such a big difference with this gun. It's insane. Oh, it's really not doing the same amount of critical damage. I think this is honestly better without the snake shots. But it's still like doing damage. Just nowhere near the amount it was doing earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him alone. You win this one. So it didn't work so well against a Stormcaller. What about against a Mega Abomination? Still took his head out pretty fast. Maybe I need to be playing a lot more close with this. Ooh, maybe not that close. Immediately fucked me up and emoted on me. Another laser though. And another head gone. So far, it's putting up the same results against the Mega Abomination. I already shoot another laser. I'm not close enough to get to him. No, we're gonna have to take it down. He's not expecting us to push him right away. Yes, he was. He immediately closed his mouth. Oh, not another laser when I'm reloading. We're gonna have to fight it. Oh, I don't think the movement speed on this is very good because all these zombies constantly keep catching up to me and taking me out. Oh, but can still kill. Let's go. Maybe that was the key is just staying up close. Let me go see if that uh, storm caller is still over there. How's our buddy doing? Oh, he's still here. Sweet. Back to full health though, I see. Oh yeah, up close it does way more damage. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Who would have thought the shotgun type rounds do better up close? All right, it's time to go, Stormcaller. No more health sapping. Just getting shot in the face. That's all you can do right now. Almost there. Oh, he, he, he healed at the perfect time, right when I had to reload. Normally when you're running this akimbo, you can work around only having five rounds in it. But when it's your only weapon, you really hamstring yourself when you can only shoot five bullets before having to sit there and reload. Because the reload isn't really fast. Speed call definitely helps out, but the mobility on it puts you in like very dangerous situations where you need to reload. But it don't matter because he's about to be dead right here. Don't you run away from me. No, what? Oh, I thought the glitch happened where he just flies off into the fucking abyss. He did fly away far enough to regen all of his health, or at least a good portion of it. This guy's a dick. I just want luck to be on my side in this game for once. There we go. Damn. We needed him to leave the storm. Okay, so it still is possible to take him out. It's just very dangerous. So, final thoughts on the tier aftermarket part? It's really good. It can do an insane amount of damage. It's just not that practical when it comes to actually trying to survive in tier three or using this solely as your only weapon. It's definitely like a boss slayer type weapon and can take out just about anything if you hit it in the crit point. I'd say the more reliable weapon is the tier akimbo with snake shots, but if you're looking just to do some massive damage to like bounties or to any elites or bosses, use this, but don't use the snake shot rounds. You probably don't want to be getting too close to anything with how slow it reloads and moves. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.